In this video, we're going to explore another logic statement. Okay, so here I'm going to ask for an input in which you type a time between number 1 and 24. I'm going to convert it into an integer and I'll store it in a variable time. Okay, and the program we're creating is called Is It Nap Time? Okay, now nap time only occurs when not at school, so like probably like after 3 and probably before dinner time, so maybe like before like 5.30 or 6, we'll say before 6, okay? And so we're going to use the AND operator, which means something, so if we have one thing and another thing, so when an if statement checks this, it only is true if this one thing is true and this other thing is true. If one is true and one is false, then the if statement doesn't go. Okay, and so we'll say if, so 3 o'clock would be 3 plus 12. So if time is greater than or equal to 15 and, so we want it to be greater than or equal to 15 and time is less than or equal to 6. We'll say that we could still take a nap if it's exactly 6. <clears throat> Sorry, it wouldn't be 6. It would be 6 plus 12 is 18. Okay. Then we're going to print it is time to take a nap. And then we'll say else print sorry not nap time and I could even modify this program where it would say something different if it was before three o'clock or after six okay and so we run this program we'll say it's five in the morning it's not nap time yet Okay, and let's say it's 8 in the afternoon, so that would be 20. And then if I say, okay, well, maybe it's like 4 o'clock, so that would be 16. Time to take a nap. Okay, so that's the AND statement. So the 16 triggers it because it's both greater than 15 and less than or equal to 18. If I type in the number 19, it's greater than or equal to 15 but not less than 18. So when I type in the 19, it says, sorry, not nap time.